fire is not yet exhausted. If need be, the enemy can be attacked from above by a colossal machine gun that was invented before the first aircraft. Davis Monthan Air Force Base, near Tucson, Arizona. This is the home of the A-10 Tank Buster aircraft, also known as the Warthog. It's armed with one of the most terrifying weapons in modern warfare, the Gao-8 Avenger. Major Mike Young is an A-10 pilot and combat veteran of the war in Afghanistan. The Gao-8 dominates his aircraft. He's not so much flying a plane as flying a machine gun. It starts about right here and continues up to the muzzle at the front of the aircraft. Looking at the aircraft, it's, it's intimidating, I think. You know, you know, kind of the first thing when you see is you've got the gun sticking out of the front here. And when you really think about uh, you know, how big the gun is in the airplane, it's you know, a good quarter size of a third of the airplane. With magazine and drive mechanism, the Gao-8 weighs 1.8 metric tons. Six and a half meters of barrel makes the gun accurate at six kilometers. The entire length has internal rifling grooves to impart a spin on the bullets, stabilizing them in flight. The gun is so massive, the nose wheel of the A-10 has to be mounted offline to make room on the central axis of the aircraft. A full load of ammunition is around 1,200 rounds, but it's so heavy, a motorized loader has to be employed by ground crew. This weapon devours ammunition, but pilots are careful to make their rounds count. We're never going to empty the gun. We're never going to you know, shoot for 10 seconds straight to get rid of all the bullets. You know, we're usually shooting for around you know, two second bursts on the gun to get us around a little over 100 rounds of, of bullets uh, per squeeze. Even a short burst of the Gao-8 is lethal for anyone or anything. A single round of 30 millimeter ammunition is 29 centimeters long, weighing more than half a kilo. And the Gao-8 can fire 4,200 rounds per minute. The secret is multiple barrels. The Gao-8 owes its origins to the 19th century machine gun that started it all. It's a descendant of the Gatling gun. In 1893, Gatling himself had massively upped the firepower of his invention. The human operator had been a source of jamming when the gunner overcranked the handle in the heat of battle. Gatling's solution was to drive the barrels externally with an electric motor. He achieved a firing rate of 3,000 rounds per minute. But the motorized Gatling gun was heavy and cumbersome and never found favor until the age of jet warfare. The Gao-8 Avenger is the Gatling gun reborn. Its motor is powered directly from the aircraft hydraulics. Friendly fire incidents are a very real danger, so constant training missions are essential. At the firing range, flight control prepares for the attack. The targets are hanging parachute silk and a small collection of bullet-riddled trucks. The Gao-8 must be activated before this final firing line, just 200 meters from the targets. The pilot is expected to put 80% of his shots within a 10-meter circle. The target zones are embedded with microphones to detect vibrations and precisely locate the bullet hits. A technician can then provide instant feedback on the spread and accuracy of each burst of fire. To aim the weapon, the pilot aligns the entire aircraft using the heads-up display, or HUD. Yeah. 
It's a visceral experience. You know, seeing the HUD shake, seeing the smoke, feeling the vibrations of the airplane, seeing the vibrations in the HUD. I mean, it kind of touches all your senses. Uh, you can smell the gunpowder. Uh, when you come home, I mean, your wife can tell you that she, she was able to tell that you shot the gun today because you smell like gunpowder. In a battle situation, the effect on the enemy is devastating. Even one armor-piercing bullet on target can destroy a battle tank. 